The Canadian Gulf Islands offer some of the best sea kayaking in the world. We're at Salt Spring Island in Ganges Harbour, and we're going to paddle along a beautiful chain of islands that stretch from the quaint artsy town of Ganges out to the mouth of the harbour. Near the end of this video we'll show you our destination, a beautiful island called the Third Sister, with a stunning shell beach called Chocolate Beach, where we'll have some lunch and then explore the trails and spectacular views all around the island. This is a 360 high definition video, so move your smartphone around or use your mouse to see the full sphere of video and experience the full panoramic beauty of Salt Spring Island. Behind me is Churchill Beach that we launched from. Uh, really nice place to launch. We used the kayak cart, about 100, 200 yards, uh, but uh, a fair amount of parking along the street uh, leading up to Churchill Beach. And today is a nice day, nice and cool. Uh, we've got partly cloudy, uh, the wind is probably at about five knots. We are paddling in a sheltered bay here, so uh, current shouldn't be too bad, but the tide is coming in. Uh, we're going to paddle along these little chain of islands here, and there's a nice island near the end which has a beach on it called Chocolate Beach. So we're intrigued with why it is named Chocolate Beach. Just ahead is Powder Islet. Yeah, imagine living on this little island. They That's need to a huge dock for the size of a house. <laughs> it is. They need to replace their Canadian flag. It's a bit ragged. Yeah, it looks like it's seen some strong winds. So the wind is toward us today, which is really good when you're setting out. We're going to have a little bit more work getting out there, but then on our way back, we'll have the wind behind us and it should be a, a smooth sail, literally. We're pretty close to low tide here, so we should see some interesting marine life along the way. Next up ahead is a long, thin island called Goat Island. Karen and I are wearing spray skirts today, uh, just in case the wind comes up a little bit more. Oh, look at all those sea stars hanging on the rocks. That's really good to see. Those purple sea stars suffered a massive die-off a few years ago. There was some kind of a a problem with them. I don't know if it was a marine sickness for sea stars or something, but you didn't see them for several years. It's good to see them bouncing back. But Karen and I are wearing spray skirts today. Uh, the wind is about five knots, um, but it may increase to about 10. I think we're, we're so we're just doing a day trip. Uh, it should just take us a few hours. Uh, we'll probably be back before the wind gets too strong, but uh, Good to have the spray skirts as a precaution. And behind me on my right is the Ganges Marina. Really popular for sailboats and yachts. And lots of interesting little restaurants and pubs in there. We're going to hit some of those tonight. Uh, we've got a week on Salt Spring Island, so really look forward to exploring it. Wow, just look at all those sea stars. Really, really healthy. Okay, that first little island, which was a rock, the one with the dock and the house on it, is called Powder Islet. Maybe they used to keep their gunpowder out there for safety reasons. Uh, this one on my left that we're passing right now, this is Goat Island. Uh, these islands are not parks, they are private property. I, I think the tidal zone is public, but, you know, above the tidal zone is private property. I think in Canada in general, the tidal zone is uh, public. So you can land on the beach, you just can't go above the high tide mark. We're coming up to the end of Goat Island here, and just ahead of us are three little islands called the Dead Man Islands. Really enjoying paddling along this little chain of islands, you know, especially at low tide, seeing all the sea life. And we're not at max low tide, we're probably an hour or two after max low tide, but even now we're seeing a lot. We're about halfway out now to Chocolate yeah. Beach. I'm curious about the name Dead Man Island. You know, did they, did they bury somebody on the island? Um, it also seems like a common name. There's a Dead Man set of islands over just south of uh, Hope Island in uh, Skagit Bay. Curious why they call them Dead Man Islands. Leave a comment if you know. 
How did you like all those starfish? Oh, they were really spectacular. And like all these little colonies of them stuck yeah, to they the must rocks really be together. Back. I, I don't think I've seen so many starfish for the last 10 years since I and had that dial. Remember? Purple ones and what color was the other one? Like a brownish red. Yes. Yeah, a couple of different varieties. They were awesome. A couple of seals in the water on my left just checking us out. That's all right, guys. We're just passing by. One's doing a Superman on top of that rock, arching his back. <laughs> They're pretty funny. You can really see the chuckanut sandstone there. There's a layer of it with uh, the sort of little, little holes, honeycomb of holes from the wind and salt erosion. We did a paddle along the Chuckanut shoreline um, over just south of Bellingham up to Chuckanut Island from Larrabee State Park. It was really beautiful and we saw a lot of this Chuckanut sandstone. The other place we've seen a lot of it is uh, Susha Island just north of uh, Orcas Island. We did a paddle there earlier this summer. I'll put some links to those videos. And this island on my left is the last of the three Dead Man Islands. Nice little beach right there. But the beach we're going to, Chocolate Beach, is I think even nicer. Okay, and so just beyond this third Deadman Island, you can see the, the sisters. There's three sister islands. And Chocolate Beach is on one of them. I think it might be on that big one on the left. Lots more seals over there on the rocks. It's a perfect spot for them. You can see the sea stars below the surface here. The water is getting some nice clarity as we get further out. Crabs as well. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but uh, quite a few crabs on those rocks. I haven't seen any jellyfish here yet. Last weekend, Karen and I did a paddle over at Blake Island, just uh, west of Seattle. And we saw some beautiful big lion's mane jellyfish and fried egg jellyfish. Really beautiful and I'll put a link to that video. There was a seal on this island right back here too. Yeah, yeah I saw those seals. They love those rocks, eh? So this first little island here, okay, on, on our sort of head of us to our right, that's the first sister island. Um, the big one with the beach is the third sister and it's that beach is Chocolate Beach ahead of me. We can get off there? Oh yeah, that's where we're going to head for. And then there's a second sister island which is behind the first sister island here. Which you'll, you'll see it as we get closer to the beach. It will be a smooth sail back, we'll have the wind behind us. Yeah, that'll be nice. <laughs> yeah. And not as many boats if we go on the right side. Yeah. I purposely went on the, the side we did to shelter us a little bit from the wind. Yes. Uh, but on the way back, we want the wind. The wind's going to help us. Yeah. <laughs> and there's several eagles over on the first sister island here. So we're going to paddle up along the shore. We love spotting the eagles. And on my left there is Chocolate Beach. We're going to bounce over there in a second, just uh, checking these eagles out along the first sister island. Wind is picking up a little bit here. Probably feeling about seven, maybe eight knots. That eagle's going to launch. Oh, Hello. so beautiful. You ready to shoot over to Chocolate Beach? Yeah. Oh, it's nice and sheltered here. Yes. Good place for a break. 
Here comes the other eagle oh, behind cool. us. Just arriving at Chocolate Beach on the Third Sister Island, we were ready for a rest stop, some lunch, and to explore the trails on the island. Honestly, I'm not sure why they call it chocolate beach. It's pretty white from my standpoint. Maybe it's white chocolate. At the northwestern point of the Third Sister Island, you can see back into Ganges Harbor from where we launched and the long chain of islands we paddled along. So if you keep going along the shore here, you'll get to the end of Ganges Harbor. And then if you cut around the left, uh, you'll get to Long Harbor. Long Harbor is where the ferry comes in from Tawasan. That's where we came in yesterday. That little beeping noise is the Zolia, just at a check-in to let our contacts know we got to the destination safely. Just love the Solio device, so helpful. Especially if you don't have cell phone coverage. Here we actually do have some cell phone coverage, but if you don't, you know, it'll revert to the satellite network. So we've used it in very remote areas and it, it does its job beautifully. We never had to use the SOS though, and we hope we never do, but it's a good insurance policy. So what was your take on the kayak so far coming out here? Good. What did you like? Um, I liked all the starfish for sure. Starfish, the seals. crabs, uh, seals, eagles. I didn't see crabs. I saw a bunch of crabs. Oh, eagles, yeah. Yeah. This, this beach is beautiful though, isn't it? It's this white crushed shells is really pretty. Yeah. And it's not too hot today. It's it's just a beautiful, cool day for a paddle. And yeah. the sun is going to come out later. Mm -hmm. It'll probably get hotter, but a little bit challenging going into the wind, right? Probably got up to about seven knots there. Yeah, yeah. the waves from the other boats too, is, because then they bounce off the islands. Yeah. Boats coming in and out of Ganges Harbor. Definitely something to watch out. The occasional um, float plane as well. I'm going to take a little walk around the island. Apparently there's some nice trails that go around the shoreline and give us some beautiful views. There's a little outhouse up here. It'll be fun to explore. Lots of madrone trees. I hear a kingfisher. It's a kingfisher. Water. Yeah. That's a pretty cute little outhouse. Looks has got a, a Oh, moon. it's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite artistic. Little shingle roof. Somebody's put some real artistic flair into it. They should have made it face the other way. That way you can get a view. <laughs> I just love that beach, you know, view through the trees. Oh, it's pretty. Blue water, white beach, Clear the drone water. trees. These are called arbutus trees here in Canada. Approaching the southeast side of Third Sister Island, we have a great view southeast out of Ganges Harbor, with the Second Sister Island just to the right. How cool is that little peninsula there, okay? Oh wow, that's cool. Yeah, don't walk out there, please. <laughs> I can you know see I'm you're tempted. looking. <laughs> so here, definitely see they've had a fire on the island sometime within the last maybe 50 years or so. Uh, probably why they don't allow fires on the island now. Okay, here's the big pine tree. I was curious if it may have been hit by lightning because look how its trunk is split sort of along its length. 
That sometimes happens with a lightning strike where it boils the sap instantly and causes the, the wood to split like that. This one also has some char marks on its base that was here during the last fire. Just coming back to the north side of the island here. See the water is creeping up on the kayaks. Tide is definitely coming in, so didn't want to be away too long. Look at that beautiful white beach, the blue sky. This is definitely one of our top island sea kayaking experiences. So when we paddle back, we're going to go past the Deadman Islands on the right hand side. And you can see Churchill Beach in the distance. But we may actually paddle out to the second sister island around the corner to the left there. Looked like it had some really interesting shallows to explore. So Chocolate Beach was great. We loved the white sandy beach, the views all around, the trails going around the island. Nice little outhouse there. Beautiful arbutus trees. Uh, eat multiple eagles, kingfishers. Uh, really pretty island to explore. No houses on this island. Uh, it doesn't seem to be marked on the map as a park, but it definitely seems to be a park with the trails running around it and no sort of private property, no trespassing signs to be seen. I'd highly recommend it. It's a beautiful little stop for a picnic. You could swim off that beach, although it's a little cool today for a swim, but on a hotter day, it'd be a perfect place for a swim. We later learned that Third Sister Island is privately owned, but the owner graciously allows people to use it like a park. Thank you. Looks like some seal pups as well, youngsters. We'll let them be. After reaching the end of the sister islands, we decided to turn back for our return trip back into Ganges Harbor and our pullout point at Churchill Beach. We picked up some ferry waves here. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs for likes, subs for love. We have many more adventures, both around Salt Spring Island and the Pacific Northwest. Subscribe and you'll be notified as we release. If you have any questions, updates, or other comments, we'd love to hear from you. Happy kayaking. Be safe out there. Bye for now. Seal. Two of them. Hey, buddy. Hi, guys. Boy, they can dive quickly. He's probably underneath us, looking up. 